Perfect. I, I think I would function properly if I had a proper coffee. See me bobbing, I'm a blossom. Yeah, I don't need a pop mind to my rabbit. I'm official on a dotty. You get a room room in my rabbit. I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. It's official. I'm a problem. I don't need it this far. First of all, good morning. Second of all, the shenanigans have already started this morning. Um, I got up and of course Izzy is breathing in my face, waking me from a dream with my future husband. I was literally at my wedding, like not on the honeymoon, but like we were looking at all the fireworks, we were leaning in for a kiss. And, you know, all I heard was, I'm sick, mommy. I don't feel well. And I was like, gosh darn it, I can't even get, I can't even meet the man of my dreams. But you know what, Izzy? What? You are all the man that I need. You were the man of my dreams. Mm. Give me a kiss. Mm. Oh, hey, Bing Bing. They have concocted a story. One said, sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, while the other one distracted me yesterday with their coughs and complaints of a fever. You know, as adults, we prepare our employer for, like, calling out, like, was she sick yesterday? They started that whole I'm sick thing yesterday, so they're staying home from school, which isn't a big issue because it's a half day, which means school is only in for half of a day. Oh, I However, I still got to work. I still got to conduct business because yes. i have to go out and meet my future home buyer and help her because things do move very fast inside the internet and sometimes at my particular age because i didn't grow up with the internet the internet happened kind of how like malcolm x said we didn't land on plymouth rock plymouth plymouth baby spit it out plymouth rock landing on us the internet landed on us, okay? I'm from the era where we got on our bicycles and drove for miles. Yes, I said drove, not rode, because that was our car, okay? I'm from the era where, you know, you stayed outside all day. You came in and checked in, of course, because you ain't have a cell phone. I'm, a, I'm from the era where we, we crawled up trees, fell out, hurt ourselves, and then when you came home and you told your uncle what happened, she just rubbed some, some ointment oil on it and prayed for your poor unfortunate soul, okay? I'm from that time space continuum. So um, I completely understand what she's saying and the help that she needs. It's one piece of paper that she needs that's preventing her from being approved through underwriting. Through the whole process that you go through with getting approved, you need to be concerned with the underwriter. And let this be a lesson. Anytime you pay off something, a settlement, a claim, anything like that, keep your red seat, honey. The point is, is that she has something that she settled and it's been a while. She needs a receipt. But baby don't know how to move around the internet, so I got to go find it for her. But of course, I can't log into her email, so I have to meet her. So um, I'm going to be a nice real estate agent, which I really don't have to do it. Um, There are some real estate agents who will just be like, oh, well, your problem, not mine. And they could care less about you. But it's one article of paper that's preventing her from getting finally approved through underwriting you guys which is going to give her a clear to close on her home that's already completed already done the final walks she just needs this piece of paper to get her documents in order and this particular document why does she need it it helps to prove that she can afford the home and that her debt to income ratio is in line with what the lender needs to push her loan through to get her cleared to close okay so i know it sounds like a lot but if you've gone through the home buying process or you're going through the process keep all of your receipts see they cooking up another plan. She's singing the alphabet while they... So, I gotta make my way to my client with two children, but first I gotta drop Max off to school. Julian's already at school because he takes the big yellow taxi to school, AKA the school bus. And um, I just need a coffee. I, I think I would function properly if I had a proper coffee this morning, okay? All right, let's go. Boy, incendio yourself with some shoes and socks on so we can go.
Okay, you guys. My lipstick looks really looks too light. Hold up, now. I might have to fix that. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, what's up, guys? With your seatbelt on, little boy. I stopped at Starbucks. I was like, "What y'all want for breakfast?" Since we're gonna be on the road this morning, what y'all want for breakfast? Um, Izzy says Starbucks, little bougie. You don't even know it. I got my oatmeal shake and espresso with almond milk and cold foam on top. I got them some egg bites, and when they finish their egg bites, they are going to be treated with a cake pop. They also got a nice little hot cocoa. It's literally take your kids to work day, but not. Girl, now I gotta drive like 45 minutes to help my client. has nothing to do with the excitement of it all but Publix has a banana cream cheesecake okay also they have a mixed berry cheesecake and a brownie crunch cheesecake this guy is smuggling in things into the basket somehow marshmallows got in there no no, Publix is for food, that's it. Today's episode of How Much Will It Be? We're already up to $68.79. <laughs> How much will it be? Don't even ask me why Max is not in school, okay? He's homeschooled now, JK, JK. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, he's taking his um, he's cashing in on his PTO, his personal time off. Since yeah, everybody wants course. you kids to get used to working, you also have to get used to calling in your days off. On account of him making a B on a roll, I'm very very proud of him. Um, how much did everything cost? Grand total of one sixty five point thirty one. FYI, the reason why I was doing the happy dance, okay, the the year the celebratory dance child was because I finally got confirmation from my client's closing coordinator and um, the lender that she is clear to close. I am so excited for her and myself because they've been about to treat myself. <laughs> Listen, okay, you're either gonna be an A or B kind of real estate agent. The kind of real estate agent who walks your client into a new construction home and the only time you show up is at the closing table or you're with them every step of the way. You're answering all of their questions because let me tell you, the sales associate has a fiduciary duty to look out for the best interest of the builder and not you. That's why they literally give you the money to get your own real estate agent and they pay your agent's commission. So. If you don't have an agent and you're trying to get in contact with a sales associate because you feel like they should be working for you, they're not working for you, they're working for the builder and you can't get a hold of nobody, well, you walked in agentless. So it would behoove you to walk in with an agent and not just with any agent who's just only gonna show up at the closing table because they feel like you're being taken care of by the sales associate. You need an agent who's gonna be able to send those emails, who's gonna be able to reach out to the closing coordinator, who's gonna be able to reach out to the lender, who's gonna be able to make sure the process of underwriting is going properly. Because let me tell you, honey, I knew that I had to make that draft to my client and it's not that I was complaining about it, it was because I knew that it had to get done Otherwise, she would have fallen out of contract over something so simple. So the three hours that I sent in, sat in that car on the phone with everybody that I need to be on the phone with yesterday was well worth it because she's closing on her home. And I know it's probably a little bit confusing me because you're like, well, why do they give you a sales associate? The sales associate is just gonna give you minor updates. But when it comes to like being in contact with your closing coordinator that you've been assigned to, <laughs> Maximus is in the background, and your lender that you've been assigned to, the sales associate really doesn't go to the limit that way. It'll be up to you to send your own emails to the closing coordinator and the lender and getting everything that needs to be submitted to um, the underwriters who are gonna get you clear to close. So unless you got time and the mind frame or you're in that like professional realm where you're just really good at sending emails and follow up, 
kudos to you, but let somebody else do it. And let the builder pay that agent to do it. So it's not a headache for you. Because the last thing you need to be worried about is, was an email sent out properly, right? That That's my job. That's your agent's job, especially if they're a good agent and if, and if they care more about getting a check. I care about my client's experience. I care really a lot about her closing on her first home as a single woman. And I know that there was a bit of a language barrier for her and just the internet barrier, because I get it. Like I said, we from a different time, land before time, where a lot of the things where they want you to submit it's just a lot of legwork. So I did that for her. I sat in the car with my with my twins. Three hours, okay? Three hours I did satellite work. But I can tell you, I don't really go into the office. A lot of my work in real estate is in my car. So it would also behoove you to have a good car with a good transmission, baby, and a good oil change as gas. I'm just saying. But I got it done. My home buyer has one more walkthrough just to make sure everything that was in need of correction was corrected. And then she'll probably close on that same day and she'll be handed her keys and it will be done. And then your girl will have a nice little commission check. Ching, ching. And I'm really excited about this particular commission. I'm not gonna say it's my largest commission that I've made, but on a new construction home, this is the largest commission that I've made, 4% commission and i'm really excited i'll make another video about the breakdown of the commission but yeah i'm really excited about this one honey i'm really really excited about this one there's pain in the struggle okay what's going on here there's sir beauty in the pain so if love is a struggle yeah, there's beauty in everything. There's peace in a heartbreak. And there's fire in the brain. So if everything means nothing, you stay baby. Then let it rain on me. Let it rain on me. Just let it rain on me. Let it rain on me. Just let it rain on me. Okay. I've made it to my client's home, y'all. This is her last final walkthrough before her closing. And this one is just to make sure that everything that was blue tape was corrected. Uh, one of the things that was missing when we came last time were the shutters. So the shutters have been placed on the outside and all the paint and everything has been corrected. And we're also running water today because a lot of times in new construction homes, the water just sits and it collects and it smells like egg sulfur. So um, I'm getting that out of the way for her. Yeah, but if she just runs the water, that smell should go away, right? Yeah, give it like 30 minutes. Yeah, so. Yeah, you gotta flush them off. Yeah, because I mean, this, this home is not lived in at all. All right, so. That didn't take long, actually. Which card am I gonna use? Is this my credit? Yeah, I need to use my credit card. I got a new credit card to help build credit, y'all. <laughs> That's girl math, okay? So it's basically free whatever I spend, but it's not free. I am stopping just to get a smoothie, just cause I don't feel like eating anything. You ever have those days where you just feel like, I'm gonna drink my calories away instead of eating it? I'll do a salad later, but I've really been losing weight like the proper way and it feels good so i consider like myself to be on an intuitive diet versus just policing what i eat what do i feel hello. like eating hello mm -hmm. what i feel like eating and what's going to be best for me to eat at that time Good. 